Yeah. Def- okay, this, uh, we'll see, man. Uh, Al- uh, man, Jake is no sludge when it comes to using Steve. Or Alex, man. I just called Steve all the way through, but I know it's Alex, Enderman, and Zombie, and I'm always getting confused between the three. Just because I'm used to just calling it Steve altogether. I am one of those, like, old school people who just remembers when there was only one skin and there was only Steve. And then later on, they, you, you could put custom skins that are actually available in the game. Uh, but nonetheless, here, of course, it is going to be Jake versus Andrew T. Uh, we've seen this tale time and time before, man. If you've seen Best Ness play against Jake, uh, kind of the same, almost the same song and dance. Difference here, of course, is Andrew T is a very, very different Ness main. And we'll see how different he is here. But unfortunately, Jake will just swipe left and says, I never wanted you on the stage. Please exit stage left. As I take the first exit off. stage left. Oh goodness, that's a funny joke. Not gonna lie, but getting back to stage. I mean, Ness is a very annoying character, nonetheless. But I mean, J- uh, he Jake is doing very well, even though he uh, did his pickaxe did. I mean, not his pickaxe. His axe did break, so he's unable to mine at the town and city ground. But also, a uh, nice side smash coming out. Oh my goodness, that high knockback. I mean, also Ness is a floaty character, so you kind of can't you can't underestimate uh, Alex's side smash uh, knockback. Oh, what a like, combo! Taking this man all the way off the stage. I actually thought that I, I actually thought that was gonna kill the uh, stage spike, but dang, the minecart to the elytra, jeez. Right, he's getting his resources right now, using the mine, uh, the powered rail minecart to his advantage. Also, he's only using the uh, the one in the air, possibly because it saves more resources that way. Nice forward throw and getting back to stage, uh, but the PK Thunder does break the minecart up smash, and that's gonna kill. Oh wow! <sighs> that has to be the most self-defeating thing to feel at this moment in time, just because the way that you're kind of like dealing with it. And you have the right play. Like, you see where Jake is. Going for that PK Thunder might have been the right play. But, man, that was the most unfortunate spot to be in, too. Because you're essentially still in that range to be hit by any of Alex's smash attacks. And you know how strong they are. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, it was it's town and city. But, like, nonetheless, Ness is a light and floaty character. So... That, that's why uh, he died at, I think it was 97 uh, percent. Uh, but yeah, I thought that uh, the, up, the up smash does do uh, a lot of uh, damage with, with the multi hit and then the final knockback hit, which is what's very good about it. And it's also very long lasting, so you can catch people with it that are in midair. Yeah. I'll PK fire, second PK fire to the forward end. You can tell Andrew's trying to start off strong here. There is the down throw forward end. No. Full follow up here, a couple up tilts coming up from Jake into these up airs, and you can tell Jake will not let that full combo go unpunished. You can tell these players are very neck and neck. The one thing I am liking about Andrew here, he's playing a little bit more on the aggressive side, but man, every time Jake is off the stage, you have to accredit yourself against that minecart because there's definitely a lot Jake gets for it. Yeah, and J- I, I can also see that uh, while, while Andrew is being very aggressive, Jake just avoids it at all costs and is just uh, spending that uh, time to just get resources. Uh, at all times, if Andrew is just away from him, he's just trying to get diamonds So uh, for every stock, so he's just good to go since Ness is a light character, and this also causes it to have more knockback and more damage. Okay, Andrew, back slowly flying towards the stage dash attack. You have to watch out. That's so disjointed. And it lasts a little longer than some might expect. It's kind of like one of Ness's. That's why it's a dash attack, so to speak. It's one of those like last ditch efforts that you can use against your opponent. But also good to read your opponent on committing on landings as well. Uh, nice using the minecart to trap him. Oh, nice shield. As soon as he landed to read the, the side smash, the PK fire to forward th- to. Uh, afford it and jake didn't attempt to get back unless he didn't have a jump and he's trying to jump nice anvil getting his gold tool so he's able to uh mine faster but he is struggling right now trying to uh, keep his stage control getting back to stage getting his resources as much as he can you can tell that he's actually trying to get diamonds because he's got his gold 
And he does have another gold ingot, but he did he did get the diamonds. He he crafted it. Mining some more, so he's ready uh, for anything. I haven't seen him use the TNT a lot either. Nor have I seen him use a lot of building blocks. Yeah, honestly, I think Jake kind of knows this has to be more of an aggressive matchup between him and Ness, too. Just the way that Andrew has been playing. So he's kind of adjust his play style to Andrew. Knowing that, you know what, I don't have to camp as much. Essentially, this will be more of a faster match than you'll usually see between characters like Alex and Ness. Maybe trying to see who commits first. Especially yeah. with the fact that you can just lame out your opponent very effectively here. But that's a good pommel. Back throw, not enough. You know that Jake almost got the armor from the minecart. Not enough. There's the back throw. Even if that's not going to kill, it still gives Jake a lot of stage positioning and opportunities to get this read like so. And wow. man, that had to hurt. Andrew almost won that game too. He, Jake was at 140. Like maybe if he did, if uh, Jake didn't get that that back throw and. Uh, I mean, yeah, if Jake didn't get the back throw, or at least tried to grab, that would have given Andrew a great opportunity to do another Ness broken back throw, and it would have killed as well. It definitely would have killed as well, and so far, man. Jake. All right, well, let's get into here. Uh, final, possibly, possibly final game between these two players, honestly. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. The way that Jake has been playing more aggressive so far against Andrew T has been kind of rough for Andrew. He's been on the right stuff, man. It's just that last opportunity where he landed. That's the thing about Ness. You have great aerial drift, but you want to be careful when you go for directional or air dodges as a landing tool. Yeah. Uh, that, that's another good thing that you just pointed out. Oh, and that up smash doesn't kill yet, but that is giving Jake a lot of time to uh, per almost hitting that back air. Uh, but it gave him a lot of time to get some resources. Uh, you can tell that Andrew's trying to space uh, keep keep Jake away uh, at the moment since he was just at the ledge. Nice PK fire uh, fair there. Oh, he jumped up oh, right at the yeah. top and he sent him to the mines. Yeah, honestly, it's one of those things where, like, you have to watch your mash out, too. Because that mash out, if you mash out too early, you're going to get followed up into up smash. You mash out too late, you get hit by forward and you get spiked. You kind of have to properly time your mash out, too. But, yeah, minecart is a very useful tool uh, whenever it comes to either just ramming into your opponent or uh, trapping them in it. It's a very useful and it comes out very fast uh, if you have the power so sometimes it can be hard to react to and pk fire to back air to, uh, with back air to kill jake is uh getting his resources once again he has a lot of iron at this point so uh he should be good to go but i think he's just trying to yep he got his diamond he does have a lot of iron he does have gold so he's able to use powered rails, and he, I just saw he got another gold ingot, he, uh, nice, the, the back throw to back air, okay. Jake is, uh, oh, using minecart, oh, nice air dodge right out of, uh, right after mashing out of minecart. Andrew getting back to stage, oh, 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 that was so cool. Yeah, and finally the big payoff coming out from Andrew. He's been going for a lot of recoveries. Jake <laughs> has been so good to catch Andrew before he can get that up B. And finally, Andrew gets a lucky break here. Forward through. That's going to be hard, man. Yeah, I mean, he was at a pretty high percent. But uh, surprisingly, for uh, not surprisingly, but forward throw did kill there to end out his stock. Right now, uh, Andrew is at pretty high percent. Uh, he's going to have to really pull through if he wants to get this back. Um, try to keep Jake away from him with the PK fires. Nice. Uh, very good. Ooh, using the minecart to get there uh, to hit him with it. He, he is using the minecart a lot. I can also tell. Oh, but he's out of iron. So, unable to use the minecart. The oh! Oh, that was close. Jake getting back to stage with the elytra. 
He's getting his uh, resources. This is good. He only has wood and one piece of iron, two pieces of iron now. So he's got to be careful here. And the down smash is going to finish it off. Wow, another very close game. Oh, man, I, I feel for Andrew. He started off pretty hot, man. But at the end of the day, Jake just being one step above, man. And honestly, that one step will be pretty strong.